Page 16, God rest you merry gentlemen. Usually it's God rest ye Jerry, merry gentlemen, whatever. But they put you and that's fine. I don't care. You or ye, whatever. Four, four times got one sharp. So it's either in G major or E minor. Let's see what it is. At the last measure on page 17, we're here. Sounds like E minor. So I guess it's going to be E minor. One hand at a time. Let's see what we got. Quarter notes. Right hand's here. Don't forget the F sharp. Cross over with the two and then thumb. You do that some more and then the top of page 17. Second measure, lift up between the phrase because you got to move the hand. Well, you lift up between the phrase because it's a phrase, but this gives us a chance to move the hand. Is that what I mean? You know what I mean. Lift up between the phrases and then cross over, third finger. And at the end of the second line, it's the end of a phrase. Lift up and move. And third line. In the last two measures, you have a crossover, F sharp, lift up. They're saying two on. I have a third finger on it. I'm just going to use third finger and then thumb. Third finger again. So to me, I don't know why they want a two one there. Don't want you to scratch up. There's no need to do that. Use third finger. For the left hand, we're here. And then here. And then during the rest, you move down. And then again, you got to rest so you can move up. You're moving around somewhat. Mm. I don't see a lot going on in the left hand that's tricky as long as you follow their fingering and you got rest, give you time to move. Let's go to look at the last line on page 17. You're here. You move down. Then reach down for the fifth finger, and then third finger on the D sharp, and then one and two on E G. Connect those. Connect all these notes in the left hand if, unless you have a rest. You can always connect them if you can. The phrasing is to the right hand. The left hand's no there's no phrasing marked. If they wanted phrasing, they'd put it in. So then you try and put the hands together. Page 17, look out. Here, both hands have to move here. Now, second line, first measure, page 17. You're here, but this, it's a half note in the left hand, so when you play that B, that left hand needs to come up. And then lift up, new phrase. Come up. So there's some, some moving around here going on. You got it all has to be even and smooth. You can't hesitate with the beat or nothing. It's got to be right there like a clock once it starts. How fast you go is up to you. It's not a fast piece. It's not a slow piece. It's in the middle somewhere. I'd like to do it with you slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. Now remember when you play this, try and bring out the melody. That's in the right hand. So keep the left hand soft throughout is all I'm saying. In the play with me, I tend to play them a little more even. I want you to hear all the notes. So I've got to play it loud enough to be heard. I'm not trying to perform it. So I'm going to give us three counts. Now we'll play it together. So your hands are here and here. One, ready, go.
Three off. 